Welcome back to the One API channel. We have talked about heterogeneous systems with multiple devices. How do I know which devices are connected to my system and what are their properties? Getting the most out of a heterogeneous and parallel system requires two main things. The first is efficiency, which could be achieved by running the right piece of code on the right piece of hardware. For example, we would like to run these three workloads on the GPU. And in general, we want to run any piece of code that needs acceleration on the appropriate accelerator and the rest of the code on the CPU. I imagine this as choosing the right lane for each type of car, but this is not enough. Getting the most out of the system also means utilizing all the resources. It's not only about driving the fast lane, but also about driving all the lanes. And yes, sometimes these two collide. And if I have a free lane, I might want to occupy it even if it's not the most efficient one. Let me show you an example. But we first need the Data Parallel C++ compiler. Google the One API base toolkit. You can run it on the dev cloud, but I want to install it on my laptop. Choose your operating system, Windows in my case, and there are many download options. Download install. It does take a while as it is a big package, but you're getting here not only the Data Parallel C++ compiler, but many other libraries and tools like 1TBB, IPP, VTune, Intel Advisor, 1MKL, and more. There are a few additional steps to configure Microsoft Visual Studio or other IDEs, and we are done. I will run this simple code. I'm using SQL, going over all the platforms in my system, I can get all the platforms using get platforms. For each of these platforms, I'll print a separator. I'll use get info and print out the platform name. Then I'll look for all the devices on this platform using get devices. And for each of the devices, I'll print out the name of the device. Let's run it. And this is my system. It will have platforms and devices attached to them. The first one is an FPGA emulation platform using OpenCL. I got this with the One API base toolkit installations. And the device is an FPGA emulator. The second platform is an OpenCL platform and it has an OpenCL backend to my CPU. This is my i7 CPU. The next platform is an OpenCL HD graphics and the device is my GPU. And here is another platform. The device is the same GPU. I have only one in my laptop, but the backend here is level zero. So basically I have two drivers and two ways to approach my GPU, level zero or OpenCL in this case. The last platform is a SQL host. It is a virtual platform that will be mapped by default to my CPU. We have looked at all the platforms in our system using get platform. For each of them, we got the platform name. And for each of the devices on that platform, we got the name. But I want to know more. So let's print another property. If you open SQL or Data Parallel C++ reference, you can find all the properties you can get on a device by get info. Let's for example look for the max compute units. Let's print it out. And my FPGA and CPU has 8, my GPU has 24 compute units, and my SQL platform has 1. These capabilities give me a better insight into the system and the ability to choose a device each section of the code will be executed on. Next video, we'll see how to choose a device and construct a queue to that device. See you there.